Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a regulated box mod and that is the Tesseract DNA40 from Olympium Mods Incorporated. Uh, now Olympium Mods Incorporated are a Filipino company um, run by a guy called Rez, nice guy by the way, and um, this is their first sort of mod as you were, their first sort of regulated mod. They did release an RDA at the end of last year, quite a good RDA called the Helix, I did a review of it so if you want to go and check it out um, it's on there somewhere. And uh, yeah, so now they've brought out their, their first sort of C-frame styled regulated box mod, and that is the Tesseract. Most of you will be familiar with the name Tesseract from the uh, big budget blockbusters, the Avengers. Um, and it's also used in geometry. It's the four dimensional shape of a square or something. I'm shit at geometry, so I don't really know much more about it. But yeah, the Tesseract. So uh, quite a cool name for it as well. Yeah, now it's a C-frame style mod. I'm not going to get into that. Some of you love them, some of you hate them, uh, some of you are bored with them, but there you go. Uh, this is a really nice entry into it. It's something a little bit different, and I'll tell you why in a second. Now, the frame itself is made of 304 grade stainless steel. Um, uses a DNA40 gold chip in this, but they will be coming out with the new S, um, the SX350J, which is that temperature controlled new chip from Yeehe. Um, also has a USB port on the front, which some of you will be happy about. And um, another thing it's got, it's got these sort of armoured sleeves. Um, well, they call it armour. Their sleeves, um, just like the DNA Zero, really. Uh, but it's got more of that sort of arch shaped. It's not rounded. It's got more of that hex shape on the back, like a hexagon. Now, what makes this really interesting, this mod, and uh, pretty unique as well, that it has no solders or wires connected to the frame or the buttons or the chip itself. All of that gubbins is held in this black Delrin piece at the back, which is fully removable, really easy to remove as well, and I'll show you on the close-up. So basically, all your internals, all your chip and everything is held in this, and basically you push that on, and it connects to the buttons on the front, okay? Uh, which makes it really easy to customize. So basically there is nothing on this frame whatsoever. So you could change the color of the frame, you could change the buttons, um, and pretty much give it that sort of whatever effect or look you want. Um, so that's really interesting and also makes it incredibly neat and tidy inside. Once again, I'll open it up on the close up and let you have a little look. Uh, now you do get a sleeve with this. You don't get this black one, I got this one separately, but you also get this aluminium sleeve here all comes a nicely present, present presented in these boxes. So you get an aluminium sleeve there, and you can also get this sleeve as well, which is the uh, the black armor or sleeve. I've got to start calling it armor. So uh, yeah, you can customize that as well. And I do know they'll be bringing out um, some carbon fiber ones. Um, there's already people starting to do artwork on them. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now it takes an 18650, um, and it also comes with this sort of little key on the bottom as well that's removable, held in by a magnet, just to make life easier, he says as he tries to get it out, just to make life easier undoing your battery cap as well. And you have a spring-loaded brass silver-plated 510 as well, so for all you lot who can never be bothered to uh, unscrew a fucking 510, um, then yeah, it's spring-loaded, so there you go. Now, before I get into more details about it, what I think about it, price, where to get it from, etc., 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 let's go down to the table now, have a look at this bad boy up close, take it all apart, and show you what I'm talking about, about the internals, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Save. So here you have your Tesseract DNA 40. Now, this is 84 mil in height, 47 mil in length, and just a fraction over 26 mil in width. At the top here we have a uh, spring-loaded silver-plated brass connection. Also some grooves cut out for some atomizers without their own airflow. On the side of the uh, standard armour you get Tesseract with the DNA 40 there, just nicely deeply engraved into the armour itself. On the bottom you'll see you have your battery cap here with these grooves cut in for your key. We also have a silver plated brass connection for your battery. The key itself is magnetized. Got a small magnet on the back there, also a magnet there. Make it easier not to just fall out. And it's quite simple, you just put them in the grooves like so. And 
turn to undo and remove or replace your battery. Really nice and simple. Just be mindful not to lose it. On the front there, you'll see you have your Tesseract button. It does spin around because it's not connected to uh, actually have any wires or any soldering to it. So it can spin round. I find this a bit of a bugger personally, just because I'm a little bit OCD and I like everything to sort of match. Got your screen there as well, nice clear screen. Your two buttons for up and down, and obviously your micro USB port as well. Removing the sleeves, nice and simple, just like we would on the Zero. Now inside here on the black Delrin itself, you have your serial number. This one's number 61 with Olympia Mods Incorporated Tesseract DNA 40. So uh, each mod has their own serial number and can be detected when needed. So yeah, it's a uh, quite a bulky design. You have that sort of hexagonal shape on the back there, rather than just a rounded back. But it's quite nice, quite heavy, feels quite sturdy and well made. So uh, let's get a look on the insides now. Just take your Allen key, remove your battery. So we'll use that key. I do like this little key, it makes that very simple. Nice enough threads on that battery cap. Take your Allen key and just undo it. Same on the bottom. take all day and then just pull that out nice and easy and there you go as you see there on your frame you have no wires you just have your loose buttons And that is where basically all your internals are kept. So your screen there, your up and down switches, your main switch. So basically when you push that in, they make contact to the buttons themselves. And that's how the mod works. So really nice actually. It's quite a, an innovative design. All kept nice and neat. So uh, that really is quite impressive. And once again, it's just easy to put back. Just be careful of your... Uh, of your pin at the top make sure your buttons don't fall out like they just did then but it really gives a nice option you'll be able to replace all these buttons if you want to maybe different colors different materials even the frame I've heard that they're going to start doing different frames different colors I said I would have thought or customized with a nice paint job or something like that just replace those Allen keys Battery back in. And we're away again. There we go. I've had no problems with this chip whatsoever. It actually, I feel it scrolls really quite fast compared to some of my others. That's quite nice. Replace your armour. Put on an atomizer. I 
Und weit vorbei. So there you go. There's your uh, Tesseract DNA 40 from Olympian Mods Incorporated. So yeah, there you have the uh, Tesseract DNA 40. And that is really interesting how they've done the internals. I do really like that as well. You know, the fact that the frame just comes completely off. Um, you can see everything there, all nice, neat and tidy. Nothing's actually soldered or attached to the frame itself. So if you do want to remove um, that black Dell rim piece and uh, have a look inside, give it a clean or whatever, or check, in case a chip goes faulty after time, it's really simple to get in there and have a look. And quite interesting and something completely different that we haven't seen on C-frame mods. Um, now, yes, it is a C-frame. Um, there are a lot coming out now which gives more and more people a chance to choose different styles of one as well and as I've said before before people jump all over it we had so many tube mods at one point and we still have um, now we're getting a big selection of C frames as well so it just depends which one tickles your fancy um, the look of the mod itself I'm, I mean, I'm a big Stabilized Wood fan. We all know that. So the, the Tesseract doesn't hugely appeal to me in looks. It's a bit square. It's a bit chunky. It's a bit bulky for me. Um, but I mean, a lot of you will probably like this out there. It does look a bit more futuristic. And given the name Tesseract with it, that's kind of, I think, what they were going for. Um, I know they're calling this armor, but to me, it's sleeves just like the Zero. But they're pretty cool as well. I do prefer the black one. This aluminium one doesn't exactly go all the way you can see the black delrin um, slightly underneath it it doesn't completely meet up to the frame but still quite nice very shiny um, probably a, a massive scratching magnet so uh, just be careful there but there will be more coming out and you will have the option of sort of having customizable ones uh, no doubt they'll be bringing out avengers ones and things like that so that's something really cool to look for um, the DNA 40 chip works lovely. This one seems really, really fast, actually, compared to a couple of my other DNA 40 chips. You know, especially when you're going up and down on your wattage, it seems to fly through. Um, really nice and responsive. Um, 510 is great with the spring-loaded uh, brass silver-plated pin. Um, so for those lazy buggers out there, nice and simple. Um, Batch cup is nice. Also, the fact that you've got that little key in there. Yes, I do like the key in some ways. There are some C-frames that you just have trouble getting that battery cap out every now and then with your fingers. It can get a little bit stuck. Um, and it's no springs in there either. Once again, you've got a silver-plated brass connection. So it's cool to have that little key in there uh, magnetised as well. Just don't lose it because uh, then your mod's incomplete and no doubt it's going to cost you to get another one sent to you. That's got your light. Just fits in there really nice like so. Um, buttons are okay. The button's nice and pushy. It does spin a little bit. Now, because these aren't connected um, to the actual frame itself, it is going to spin freely, and that does my nut in a little bit. You do have the logo on the front, the Tesseract logo there, and uh, I find myself turning it round quite often to get it to be straight, you know, a bit OCD that I'm like. So uh, that does spin around. And the two buttons at the bottom, they're okay. They just sat in a little bit, so you do have to sort of push your finger in um, to get them, but still not a problem really on those two little buttons down there. They're all right. Uh, USB port, you know, charge is nice. What can you say about that? That's uh, really cool. And um, yeah, it's it's a nice little addition to the C-frame. It's something a bit different with that, that internal sort of section that you pull out. So I do like that quite a lot. Now these retail at $500. You're looking at about 330 quid. The sleeves themselves, I think, are around $50. And then you've also got to pay your PayPal fees and shipping, so it does get a bit expensive. If you want this set up with the actual Tesseract, with both sleeves that they've got at the moment, and your shipping from the Philippines, you're looking around £400 and £410. So it ain't cheap. It's up there in the high end. I think it's a little bit too highly priced for it. You know, not stabilised wood at all. Um, but still... That's just my opinion. Some of you might think that's perfectly well priced. Um, so there you go. But for me, a little bit cheaper, just because it's an introductory mod from uh, Olympia Mods would have been quite nice. But yeah, it's a good addition. Um, it is something different. I love the uh, internal section. I think that is a great idea and uh, works really well. Um, it's a nice addition, really. Just a bit too bulky for me. And it's not stabilised wood. So, of course, I'm, I'm going to be a bit... Because, you know, I'm all la-di-da for the wood. 
But there you go. There's the Tesseract DNA 40. So uh, I'll put the link for the Facebook group in the description. Um, and yeah, uh, go and check them out and uh, go and see it. And if you're interested in one, I do believe there's some batches coming out. And also the new SX350J uh, version is coming out, which uh, I think has got a lot of people excited. So thank you very much for watching this review. And I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.